In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a crazy or curly straw. Now, the average straw is about nine and a half inches and 0.21 inches in diameter. So I'm going to create a sketch on my front. I'm going to choose that uh, center origin point to start off. And I'm going to choose my first line to be about four inches. So we can see that there. I'm going to hit my escape. I'm going to zoom in and then try to gain a little perspective on this. Uh, I'm going to come up to my spline tool and I'm going to use my spline tool to create that general shape that I want. What I have to make sure is that I'm not overlapping any of my uh, lines as I'm going to eventually uh, sweep these. So I need to make sure that my corners are wide enough here. And I leave enough room as I come around on this. To zoom out a little more. Not the best shape, but again, I could play around with my uh, tools. I'm going to hit my escape button. And again, I'm a little concerned right here. Oh, escape my tool. That I didn't leave enough room to get that corner. So I'm just going to drag that and open it up and hopefully... I have enough room to get around those corners on my sweep then. Um, so if I come through now, I'm going to green check mark this and I'm going to be done. I'm going to look off on this and I'm going to grab my sketch button and I want to lay a sketch down on my top plane. I'm going to come at the start of that line and I'm going to draw, uh, let's do a skinnier straw 0.15 on the end of that. So what I'm going to do now is, okay, in perspective, I'm going to come up here to my sweep tool. The face of the sketch is in uh, sketch two. The path that I drew, which is path one, I'm going to green check mark it, and we can see that I have my straw. Now, of course, this is solid now. So I'm simply going to come up to my shell tool. I'm going to select on this face and I'm going to shell it. Now obviously I need to uh, change the size of my shell. Oh, maybe I want a little too small there. Let's go to point one. A little big. Uh, point oh eight. You can see that that shell will start to populate. And I'm guessing that is a little large still. Let's go to 0.7. Obviously way too small uh, for my shelling. So we're going to click on the hollow feature of this shell. We'll click on this face here. Let's exit this tool again. Let's go to my shell tool one more time. Uh, let's click on hollow. And we can uh, change this again to point. Let's go to point zero one, zero zero one. Let's see if we can too small. Let's go to point zero one. Turn off the hollow feature. Let's select that face one more time. Oh, if I have an extra point in there. Let's click on that. There we go. Sorry that took so long. Now we can see that hollowed out crazy straw that we created. Now again, aesthetically we could have some things to work on, but there's the general idea on how to do it. 